So when you think about a mental hospital, the first thing that comes to mind isn't exactly get in this isolated room, take off all your clothes, and let us watch you be naked. It's kind of a weird situation, but it's something that happens pretty often when it comes to being in a mental hospital. It's not something that you would see in a normal hospital, though. In mental hospitals, you have to be able to assume, you have to um, what is it, what is the word observe your patient before they're being admitted, so you can track for signs of self harm, which can be in many different ways. I've known patients. Okay, this is a bit of off topic, but on Valentine's Day, uh, one of my uh, one of one of my fellow patients. I was in the mental hospital, it was Valentine's Day, and he, we would always be joking around about, like, oh, we're gonna go jack off because it's Valentine's Day and we're in a fucking mental hospital. We were making those kinds of jokes. Keep in consideration, we were very, very sick-minded and we used very awful jokes to cope with the situation, which is still kind of what I do right now. But we would, <laughs> we would make jokes about jacking off in the showers, that's why I didn't... Uh, that's why I was very cautious about the showers afterwards, but... Strangely enough, Everybody took it as a joke except for one person and a nurse overheard and she was telling us about how jerking off or jerking the gherkin can be considered self-harm because you are deliberately doing something to your body to force it to have a reaction in a negative way. Not only does it, not only is it incredibly disgusting, especially in a, not a public restroom, but a hospital, hospital's restroom where everybody uses it if your patient uses it. Not only is it disgusting, but it's also immoral and it's also kind of, well, kind of self-harm. But back to the main issue. Um, when we are first admitted into a mental hospital, you have to undergo certain procedures. And those procedures range from being locked up in a padded room all the way over to getting naked in front of the doctors and nurses. That is a bit interesting because Something can really be shown, a, a big part of somebody's life can be shown when you look at their bodies. Now that sounds a little bit weird and off topic, but let me explain. When you look at somebody's body, you look at their arms, you look at their legs, you look at the chest, you're going to automatically create an assessment of what kind of situation that person is in. You look at a homeless person with tattered clothes, dirty hair, unkept hair, long beard, you automatically think, okay, yeah, that makes sense, he's homeless. You look at a businessman who has a briefcase and a nice tailored suit, and you think, okay, businessman, rich guy. You look at a mental patient and you think, okay, this person is somebody who potentially has have hurt themselves in a way that isn't exactly as obvious to the people around them. And so that's why they make us take off all our clothes and they give us a scan, they, they look at us, and they write down what they observe. Now, that can be a bit weird, but let me bear with me for this. When you assess somebody, especially when it comes to a mental hospital, it's not always, whoop de fucking do let's, let's rock, let's play, let's woohoo, let's play video games and chill and take our medicine and go to group therapy. It's not all like that. It's not... It's more of like, <laughs> we're depressed, Valentine's Day is coming up, and we're in the boys' ward, and we have nobody to go out with, and we're gonna be able to talk with the girls during pool time, but guess what? They're gonna leave, because they don't want to be around us. Probably because we got small dicks. <laughs> we got small dicks, and that's probably why they none of us none of them approached us, because the freaking scrubs that they give us, not scrubs, the greens that they give us, give us you have to put it on. When you get in the water, you come out of the water, it kind of sticks and conforms to your body, so your dick is clearly shown. It's weird. Just imagine a couple days before you get naked in front of a bunch of nurses, and then the next day you go into a pool and it looks like you have a tiny shriveled ass dick because your pants are clinging to your, to your legs and your dick. Just me? Okay. But yeah, um, we need to assess... Well, not we, but the doctors and... Nurses have to assess the severity of self-harm when it comes to a certain person. And I think it's very, I think it's a very necessary part because you don't want a patient coming in with self-harm scars and then leaving with even more. It, that's, that's not exactly ideal. But yeah, that's, uh, that's getting naked in a mental hospital. So I hope you enjoyed. If you're in an emergency, I have your emergency links, links down below if you want to chat. My DMs and stuff are always open. I'll catch you sick motherfuckers later. Ahoy ho, malama puno.